Registered Phenomena Code 152 Object Class Beta Orange Hazard Types Visual Hazard Animated Hazard Transmutation Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-152 is to be contained in a 5-liter steel box, to be sealed at all times, which is to be contained in a 5x5-meter concrete room. High-intensity lights are to be trained on the entity at all times. RPC-152 is not to be let out of its box, except for testing purposes. The box is to be unsealed by remote control. All personnel are to undertake extensive psych evaluations before being assigned to the entity. Under no circumstances are any personnel with level 2 clearance or higher, or anyone with knowledge of non-alpha, white RPC entities, to be allowed in containment with RPC-152. Under no circumstances are personnel with level 2 clearance or higher allowed to view the entity for any reason. At least 20 liters of water, blessed by a priest of any monotheistic religion, must be kept on site at all times. In the event of a containment breach, site fire sprinklers connected to holy water tanks are to be activated throughout the site or in targeted location if the location of the entity is known. Sprinklers are to remain on until RPC-152 is located and or has reached a volume of less than one liter. Once the entity has reached this state, it is to be recontained in any non-transparent container capable of holding five liters, then returned to containment. Description: RPC-152 is a black liquid with a viscosity similar to oil. It takes up, in its natural state, approximately 5 liters, with the ability to further increase in volume depending on the lighting of its surroundings. In the absence of light, the entity will spread into the surrounding area, increasing its volume until it would come into contact with light. RPC-152 has the capacity to move and form into any shape it desires. The rate at which it spreads is slow, with a rate of 37 milliliters per hour, barring any outside interference. The only known substance that has a substantial effect on the creature is water, or any other liquid, blessed by a priest following any form of monotheistic faith. While any monotheistic faith will suffice, priests from the Catholic faith have proven to be the most effective. The reason for this weakness is currently unknown. Following exposure to holy water, the creature will shrink rapidly, with its lowest recorded volume being approximately 50 milliliters. The entity will slowly return to its natural state once exposure to holy water has ceased and it has found a sufficient location to regrow. While RPC-152's transformative abilities are concerning, its reaction to human contact is of greater importance to the Authority. If the entity is viewed by any sapient creature, it will immediately spawn the viewing creature's worst fear, hereto referred to as RPC-152-1. RPC-152-1 is comprised entirely out of RPC-152, and has the same weaknesses as it. Instances of RPC-152-1 are hostile to the viewing subject, and will attempt to drag the subject into the entity. Instances will attempt to remove any object or person preventing them from achieving this goal. If multiple sapient subjects are viewing the creature, multiple instances of RPC-152-1 will be spawned. If the viewing subject's worst fear is a concept, such as dying alone, then the entity will form tendrils and directly attempt to drag the subject into itself. RPC-152's cognito hazard is temporarily neutralized if it is exposed to holy water. Subjects who are successfully taken to RPC-152 will be immediately surrounded and consumed by it. It is to be noted that the entity has shown an increased spread rate during instances of RPC-152-1 spawning. Its spread rate increases exponentially if it has successfully consumed a subject. It is theorized that the increase in spread rate is directly correlated with the level of duress caused by RPC-152 and instances of RPC-152-1. However, this theory has yet to be confirmed. Note, while consumption by RPC-152 was initially thought to result in subject termination, later testing has revealed 
that this is not the case. Expedition and test logs are listed below. Addendum 1 Test Log 152A Testing Log 152A Date June 2000 Time Objective Determine accuracy of instances of RPC-152-1 when compared to real-life counterparts. Subject: CSD Class 1108564 John Male Age 28 Psych evaluation revealed fear of spiders. Subject's heart rate was monitored for testing purposes. Results Multiple instances of RPC-152-1 in spider form enveloped and paralyzed subject. Subject was then dragged into Entity, and is presumed terminated. Entity's ability to create poisonous instances of RPC-152-1 has been noted. Researcher notes, Upon viewing Entity, subject's heart rate increased slightly, but returns to normal shortly thereafter. Upon viewing multiple instances of RPC-152-1, subject's heart rate increased substantially. Approximately 28.8 seconds passed before subject ceased resistance of instances of RPC-152-1. RPC-152 spread rate increased by 68% during test. RPC-152 spread rate increased by 300% after consumption of subject. Test ends. Addendum 2 Test Log 152-K Testing Log 152-K Date December 2000 Time Objective Determine events following subject envelopment in RPC-152. Subject CSD Class 1005781 Mary Female Age 34 Psych evaluation revealed subject has fear of being alone. Subject given live video and audio beat for recording purposes and a microphone and speaker for communication. Results, subject dragged into Entity via tendrils. After 16 seconds of being submerged, subject broke service of Entity. Subject transported to a lake next to a rural town, with all color drained from environment. Area hereto referred to as RPC-152-2, see above. Subject swam the shore of the lake and began exploring RPC-152-2 for approximately 8 hours. After 18 hours, subject broke down from stress of situation. Subject then attacked by multiple unknown entities residing within RPC-152-2. Video B cuts as subject is attacked. As a result of Test 152-K, further testing with RPC-152 has been suspended indefinitely. Researchers notes, RPC-152 behaved as normal throughout test. While submerged in the Entity, subject is continually dragged downward by Entity tendrils. After 10 seconds of pulling, subject is released by tendrils. After approximately 6 seconds, subject breaks surface. Aside from the subject, there is a noticeable lack of sound within RPC-152-2. Subject's footfalls eventually stop producing sound as well. All attempts to communicate and instruct subject failed during test. This could possibly be related to subject's worst fear, but this theory is currently unproven. Test ends. Addendum 3 Expedition Log of Test 152-K Begin Log Subject Where the hell am I? Hello? Research personnel attempt to give instructions to subject, but speaker only creates static. Hello? Anyone? Nothing? Well, fuck you guys, I'm finding a way out of here. Subject proceeds to explore RPC-152-2. Holy shit, it's quiet. Subject picks up a rock from the ground and throws it. No sound is made by the rock's landing. Okay, no, where's the exit? Subject continues exploring for several hours. Subject grows more distressed as time passes. After three hours, Subject's footsteps cease producing sound. Subject attempts to re-establish contact with Authority personnel. Look, I know you guys are still listening. Can you please get me out of here, or at least respond? Hello? Research personnel attempt to respond, 
but no sound comes from subject speaker. Hello? Hello? Please, I don't want to be alone here. Please, I'm begging you, say something! Subject's voice becomes noticeably quieter as the attempts continue. Subject stops pleased and looks around. Several bipedal figures, comprised of what appears to be RPC-152, begin to come out of the various households. Several parts of the following audio are heavily distorted. What do you want? Incomprehensible. No, stay back, I'm not… Incomprehensible. Incomprehensible. Subject attempts to flee, as both audio and visual suffer from greater and greater interference. Feed ends with subject being seized by bipedal figures. Subject presumed terminated. End log.